Okay, this is a video on how you are going to navigate the virtual tour of the Secret Annex, the Anne Frank House. Um, you're going to open up this document, obviously, in Google Classroom. Uh, there is a link to it. This is a map right here of the house. You'll see this once we go in there. What I want you to do, though, is to watch these two videos first. Click this link, Who Was Anne Frank? And you're going to watch that video. And then watch this short video. And Frank House explained. If you have time, you could go back and watch any of these other videos, but I want you to watch those too. Then after that, you are going to click this link here to get to the Secret Annex virtual tour. Once you're at the virtual tour, you'll see it opens up and it says, take a look around, discover the Secret Annex where Anne Frank hid for more than two years during World War II and where she wrote her diary. So you're going to click step inside. Now, I won't go through the whole tour with you, obviously, but I just want to show you how to click around. This does work slightly better with a mouse, but you should be able to do it with the touchpad on your Chromebook. So generally, you can just follow the directions, and as soon as it opens, landing with book bookcase, this is the entrance to the secret annex in the house. You're going to click Explore This Room. Now, you can, you'll see this icon. Anywhere you are, you'll be able to click on the map over here in the left-hand corner, and it will take you back to the sort of overview. Um, but once you're in here, you can click around. Just click and drag, click and drag. And you can look up, down, and navigate in 360 degrees around the room. Now, if you click these arrows, the doors will move you. This will move you through the bookcase to the next room. If you click the arrow, okay, it will give you more information. And then you scroll down, okay, once it opens up, and it'll give you more information about the bookcase for this one. And there's a video. And you have to watch the videos. They're very short in order to answer some of the questions, okay? It's sort of a scavenger hunt. Then when you're done, you click the X to close. When I'm done with that, I can click this, and it's going to walk me through the door. Now I have a choice. If I click this, I'm going to go back into that room. That's the door we just came through. Excuse me. I'm going to go into this first room, okay? And every time you see something like this, you want to click on it, and it's going to give you some information, and it'll pop up, and you look at it. And like I said, it's a scavenger hunt. You're trying to find the information to answer the questions as you tour through. And this will give you other places to click on, and it shows you what each of these rooms there are. And these are the actual rooms in the house. It's a 3D computer representation of it, but any one of the these you'll click on will give you different information to read. And then when you click on the doors, you'll walk through the doors. And in this manner, you click and drag. This was Anne's room. You'll see stories about the picture on the wall. You can click on these, and sometimes it gives you audio. Um, sometimes you open up and scroll down to the video. Um, click on everything and that will help you answer all the questions, okay? And hopefully you will find this interesting as you go. Um, and there's all kinds of different things to click on, so, so make your way through and navigate the room. If you get lost at any point, you can just come over here. It shows you where you are, and this is sort of a map of the house. This area over here is the business that Mr. Frank owned, and each of these rooms is a different part of the house. So you'll notice that as I highlight here, it shows you that that's the attic. If I highlight here, it shows you that's Herman and August Sorry, Van Pell's that, room. Could you say it again, please? If you click on that location, it will take you to that location. Okay, so that's how you navigate around the room. And you can always go back here. Um, all of the answers are there for all of the questions. Once you watch these videos, click on the virtual tour, go back and forth, and answer all the questions. None of them are difficult. They're all in the various uh, text and videos that are in there. So, and I'll give you other time to finish this, but this should take a fair amount of time. It's not difficult. It should be somewhat fun. Um, when you get down to this part, it says when you're done with the questions, go back and watch any videos you missed. Um, check out the front building, and then there's some more questions on the museum, the timeline, the main characters, etc. And they ask you some more specific questions like what was a typical day in the annex like 
um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you have to navigate your way through to answer all these questions. And that's it. I uh, hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you when I get back to class.